Hi, I'm Sonnet with Sonnet's Garden Blooms and I want to welcome you all to my channel. Now today's video is going to be a how-to video, how to hand stamp metal. Um, and I'm going to show you how to do bracelets and silverware. So go and dig out that old silverware that you've been hanging on to. I'm going to show you how to stamp on that and then also on bracelets. So I'm prepping for Cranberry Fest. I've been talking a lot about that. Uh, so I thought this would be a great opportunity for you to follow along as I go ahead and crank out a bunch of bracelets. So if you haven't been to my channel before, I want to welcome you. And if you've been if you've been here before, thanks for coming back. Uh, if you do like DIYs, uh, thrift flips, uh, thrift hauls, uh, the day in the life of a small business owner, uh, definitely you have found your channel. So go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Turn on that notification bell so every Monday and Friday you'll be notified when I do upload a video. And uh, then tell me in the comments if you're going to try this at, at yourself or if you if this was helpful to you. Um, I'd love to get feedback. Uh, there are so many different things that I do other than flipping furniture, or thrift flipping. Um, so I would love to teach you guys a lot more. Uh, and, uh, so follow along and, uh, let me know what you think. So for the video today, I thought since I was going to hand stamp a bunch of bracelets, uh, for my upcoming show at Cranberry Fest, I thought what a great opportunity to show you how the process of how to stamp on metal. So I stamp on bracelets, so just metal bracelets like this. I also stamp on old silverware. Um, so you can do this type of hand stamping with any um, metal. Um, well, I shouldn't say any metal. The newer spoons, it's, it's virtually impossible to hand stamp on those, but um, the old metal um, gives a really good impression. So uh, in order to hand stamp, some of the things that you're gonna definitely need is uh, first and foremost, a stamping block. So um, this I ended up getting um, from uh, a, in a place where they had pieces of old metal and I was able to get this. Um, I liked it because of the size. The ones at um, like the Hobby Lobbies of the world, they're a tiny little square block. It's like a two by two. It's very hard to stamp on them because uh, when you put the bracelet on there, I mean, it only, the bracelet uh, actually extends off each side. Uh, what I also did, if you can see, there's, I have little black dashes here. Uh, what that does is it tells me where the center is. So when I stamp, I always start at the center and then I move my way to the right or move my way to the left. So that's what this is. So this is like really crucial. I also put down um, just blue tape to hold uh, the pieces in place so they're not moving while I'm stamping. So that's very critical. Uh, the other thing is you need stamps. So um, my very first set of stamps, now I have a wide range of all different fonts. I found some really awesome um, wholesalers where I can go and get all different fun fonts. Um, but initially I had gone to, um, I think it was like at a Hobby Lobby or Joann's and I ended up getting the lowercase first, then the uppercase. Uh, so I just wanted to show you those. Uh, like I said, those were like my very first fonts. I liked doing the lowercase because sometimes even doing all lowercase when you are stamping on a bracelet, it just looks, it, it has a really cool look to it versus all capitals. Um, it just seems like somebody's yelling at you. So um, that is another thing you will need. You will also need a hammer of some sort. Um, this one works really nice it, with a flat end. So <clears throat> when you do hand stamp, you just want to make it, make sure that you're hitting it dead center on. Um, so just a flat to a flat surface like that. Then uh, you'll actually need something to stamp on, whether it be old silverware or um, different items like that. 
uh, or the, I, the bracelet blanks. I do buy these wholesale as well. And um, it took me a while to find a really great vendor that sells these. Um, but if you are just doing a couple, um, you know, just hand stamping a couple for yourself, you can just go to like the local Hobby Lobby and um, they would be available there as well. Um, I stamp so many bracelets and I do all custom. So buying them in bulk just works best for me. Once you hand stamp them, you're gonna need a tool to bend. And this is, um, I bought it, I believe online, um, or you, I think you can get them too at um, the uh, Hobby Lobby as well. So, uh, but it just, it crimps it, so it turns it into a perfect bracelet shape. I actually have two different ones. This one is a, a metal one. I like this one better. I think because I, I do so many at a time that the little rubberized thing I think feels better on my hands. So you'll need that also. And then to make the actual imprint on the actual bracelet or wherever you're doing, um, you can buy like a special some, like black um, something to put in it. I just use a Sharpie and I put it I put Sharpie in there and then I take alcohol with a wipe and I just wipe it off and the black is in there and it makes it pop really nice. So that is what you're gonna need to get started with hand stamping. So let's go ahead and um, we're gonna stamp our very first item. So in order to start hand stamping on the bracelet, I first need to find a saying of, of whatever um, saying that I want to stamp on it. So as I um, come up with sayings, I just write them all down in um, my book of all different hand stamp sayings. So I am going to just pick one um, and then we are going to stamp it. So... The first one I think um, is so, I, I love the saying, be kind. I find that so often <laughs> people are not very kind at all. So um, if, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. Or just, uh, I mean, just so much bad stuff lately going on. Um, that that will be a perfect saying. So in order to start it, I just look and I try to find the center or I find the center. I don't just try to find it. So um, one, two, uh, three. So the K is actually the center. And what we're going to use is the set Juniper. And I am going to do this all in lowercase. So the nice thing about the stamps, I should add, the ones that you find at um, the Hobby Lobby is that all of them, if you can see here, I'm, all of them have the letter on it. And so if the letter is facing you, you then know that it is the correct way. So many of the custom ones that I do purchase they don't have this on there. So it's very easy to flip it the wrong way and then all of a sudden your K is the wrong way. Um, so that is a nice feature of the Impress Art ones that you get at like Hobby Lobby or you can purchase online. And what you do is you just try to find, well, here's the center. So we're gonna start in the center and take the hammer and then you're gonna firmly hit it once, and there you have it, the K. And we're gonna just work our way over, and then we're gonna work our way back. And all right, so then there's the I. And the nice thing too with this is that it's hand stamped. It's gonna look custom, so it does not have to be absolutely perfect. I think so many people like are always like worried about that, that, um, you know, if it's off just a hair or it doesn't look just perfect. Um, but it's okay because it is your custom piece. 
All right, so we're gonna leave a little space and we're gonna put the E for the, we're gonna work our way back this way now. And then the B. So there it is, be kind. The one nice thing too is the little period. Um, I just picked it up out of a different set. I always like to put a little dot on each side, just like so. And there you have it, be kind. So then the next thing, what we're gonna do, um, one, two things actually. I also found this little tiny heart. I don't know if it's another Impress Art one. And I always like to put a little stamp on the ends of each one. So this one, I'm gonna put a little heart on one side. And then I also found, I don't know where I picked this one up. It's a little arrow. And then I'm gonna just take it off like that and put an arrow on the other end. And I'm gonna just make it nice and as straight as possible. And there. So then after I have that done, then what I'm going to do is we're gonna take that black marker and we're just gonna fill it in like so. And then we're gonna take a piece of just paper towel and I just put a little bit of the alcohol on like I talked about and then we're gonna just wipe it off. And then and there you have it. So be kind and then you can see the little heart and then the little arrow so there's that. So then the final step for stamping on a bracelet, you'll take your um, crimper and I always just start directly in the center and then I just slowly work my way this way and then go back and work my way the other way. And then it makes like a perfect perfect bracelet. So there is our first project. The next project that I'm going to show you is uh, stamping on a piece of silverware. I had these old spoons that I picked up at an estate sale. Um, it was in one of my past videos. I had a whole box of them. I usually have a rubber mallet and I flatten these spoons. Unfortunately, I could not find my rubber mallet um, and my husband is not home. So I had to use just a regular mallet and it did not flatten it perfect. So I'm hoping this works as perfect as it normally does. But if not, um, it's okay, I'll keep it for myself. So what we're gonna do here first is we are going to tape it down. And just how I had the tape running the other way, we're going to tape it this way and we're going to also tape it here just to hold it in place so it's not moving about. Um, that's the key just to make it nice and um, straight as well. So I was trying to think of something that I, because I'm going to keep this for myself since it's not just as perfect. Um, and I, don't, I wouldn't want to sell it unless it was completely flat. Uh, with that rubber mallet, it just, it, I, I think metal on metal, it just doesn't work as nice, but the rubber mallet really gets it nice and straight. So uh, what I was thinking we could write on here is, let me just put this up here a little bit more. Um, we could do uh, Be Brave, or blessed, um, I was thinking faith, like her faith over fear. So let's go ahead and we'll use the same set of stamps that we did. And let's go ahead and put just um, 
let's do I'm trying to think what I want or choose joy um let me think all right let's just do choose let's do let's do choose joy all right so we're gonna put choose here and then we'll put joy down here so because we're gonna do we're gonna want to make it a nice um straight line what i want to do i'll do joy first so that is pretty straight and that's gonna be the line that we're gonna somewhat follow so we're gonna start with the o first and let me find it here it is and we're gonna just centerize it on there and just like we had with the um bracelet we're just gonna firmly hit it and there it is and let's see there that looks a little bit better it's actually a little small for the spoon um and then let's do j here gonna do the Y and I think all right let me and then we're gonna do choose so the center of choose would be the two O's so there, we're just going to do like off center it. And I wish I would have grabbed a bigger set of letters here because I think then it would have looked a little bit better, but that's okay. Um, we're going to make this work. And here I'm telling all of you folks, you know, it's okay. <laughs> doesn't have to be perfect and then look at me I want things to be just perfect even though I'm keeping this for myself but really um it does not have to be perfect by any means and um and I'm probably just gonna stick this in one of my plants anyways in my office so um Let's see, and actually I might even put like an I on top, like I choose joy or we'll see. Okay, so let's take a peek here and see what this looks like. So, I think what we should do is, I'm going to, first of all, the H doesn't look like it's perfect. I think I just needed it in there a little bit more. So I did that and then I am going to just put the I, like I choose joy. All right. And then I'm going to put the little heart underneath. There, I like it. Okay. So then next, what we're going to do, just like we did with the others, we're going to, or the bracelet, we're going to just fill it in. And then we're going to take the, we're going to take the um, alcohol and rub it off. And there you have it. I choose joy. I like it. I do. Even though I wish this would have been bigger. I had a much bigger surface to work on. If I would have done things differently, I would have used a bigger set of stamps on here. 
Um, and then even ha when it's flat, like a better flatter, like flatter, um, you can see there's just a little, like some divots in here. It just makes the impression that much easier. And then you could have also even buffed it up a little bit or shined it up with uh, my Dremel. I could have did that. But I just wanted to show you real quick um, how easy it is to stamp on silverware as well. All right. Well, I hope you all learned um, something today, um, whether it be stamping on metal um, bracelets or on silverware. All right. Until the next video. So what did you all think? Did you take away one thing from my video? Um, hopefully you'll all try that. Um, otherwise, if not, and you want a hand stamp bracelet, I do custom hand stamp bracelets. Uh, and I am going to be, I actually have been diligently working on my website, my online store. Um, it has been a work in progress. I am just balancing too much stuff right now with the Cranberry Fest. I keep telling myself, I just have four more days or I just have five more days to get through this. And then I can go back to my normal life and my house can not look like a mass chaos because I have barn quilts everywhere, um, all my items everywhere. I'm trying to prep and get everything together and I just want one morning where I don't wake up at 5.30 and at 6 o'clock I start working. So uh, with that said, on the next couple of videos, I'm going to bring you along to Cranberry Fest and you're going to experience it with me. So I look forward to seeing you all this week or this Friday and Monday and uh, wish me luck. Um, we're hoping for big sales. All right. Well, thanks and have a great week. Bye.